Would you like to know how to move some of your Sims 4 folders? Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 tutorial video. So this can be used for various things. One, you might have a mod free set of folders versus a modded set of folders, or you might want to do it at a lower level where you just want to have some mods moved out versus in, depending on what you're doing in your game and so on. So the most important thing is make sure that your Sims 4 game is closed when you're doing this. You can't move any Sims 4 folders or subfolders while the game is open. So the second thing that you do is you want to set up a folder somewhere where you're going to move the folders that you're not using at that time. So I have that already set up. I did it a while ago and I just have it named, you know, separate save started whenever you would call it whatever you would want to. So at the highest level, you could just move your full Sims 4 folder into something we can see here. I have Sims 4 with mods versus Sims 4 without mods. So if you look here, I have a Sims 4 in there that's without mods. But if I look here, there's nothing there. So I can take this and you want that. That means nothing's in there. And you would drag that there. And then say I want to play without mods right now. So these are my saves that aren't using mods and I would move that back in there. So that at its simplest level is how you do it. You can't actually change the name because the game is going to look for the Sims 4 folder. If it doesn't say the Sims 4, it's going to generate another set of folders. So I'm actually going to move these without mods out and put the ones with the mods back in. But you see that the folder itself is left there and it's just now empty. So this is what I want to use. I, you can also do this at a lower level. Perhaps you don't want to have the full folder moved out. And I usually don't. I usually just have it switched between my let's play saves and my other saves. And then I have another one where I use the full MCCC. That's an example of where you might want to do it because I personally don't use the full MCCC. I don't use the pregnancy woohoo or population modules, this is just how I do it. But I do have a couple of saves where I have it all in. And so I just drag that out and then it has the full MCC with it that I swap in and out using this essentially method. So right now I do have saves in there and that happens to not be my let's play saves. It would be my other saves because you can see it's not there. That's how you can identify which is which. So again, in this case, I'm going to move my saves over to that. And then I want my LP saves in because I need to do some recording, say, as an example. And then the other thing you may have noticed there is that I have, you know, some mods that I take out when I'm recording and I would put them in. Perhaps they're mods I want to test. I also have Twist Maxi's Better Exceptions and I don't want that in there when I'm recording because it comes up, in, you know, is distracting for that. So that's an example of something that you might want to not have in there. And you can do the same thing with anything. So you can have it where, like I said, you're completely mod free and modded, or perhaps you might have mods that you use differently for some saves versus others, and you can use it for that too. So let me know whether or not you have any questions about how that works in a comment down below. If you have more detailed questions and have some pictures or screenshots you need to save, I do have a Discord and a Facebook group where I can provide more detailed help over there. So they'll be linked down below too. Let me know if you have any ideas for tutorials, but that's going to be it for this video. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!